104.5 The Team and 104.5 The Team.com. LeVac and Goss here with you. And joining us, it's been too long. Andy Serling joins us here on the phone line so we get ready for Saratoga, which opens tomorrow. Andy, it feels like summer is really here when Saratoga opens up. What's it like for you leading up to the few hours before Saratoga opens up for the summer? That's an exciting time. I mean, you, you, you spend a lot of the year looking forward to Saratoga. It's, uh, it's a great summer every year, and it's just great to be in Saratoga and get the racetrack and crowds and, and, and people having a great time and, and great racing. So you wait for it all year. It's always sad when it closes around Labor Day, but it starts to get exciting as the summer is coming upon us, and we're just a few hours away, as you say, from it. So it's a very exciting time of the year. It's really the best time of the year. All right, I can't wait. i got to get into the races. You're looking at the card already. What are some of the races you think we might be able to make some money on this upcoming weekend? Well, you know, with, with, Saturday, with, with, with Friday's card in the opening day card, it's a typical sort of mix of Saratoga races. You've got a couple two-year-old races, one in the dirt, one in the grass. We have two stakes, one the Skyler Build, the traditional opening day feature. Uh, that's a, a very interesting but difficult race. The, the, the co-feature is the Lake George for three-year-old fillies at a mile and 16th in the grass, and it came up a big field. you got 10 horses entered in here. Uh, maybe 55 is the horse to beat, but you know, Dream Dancing and Sweeping Patty, and a horse that I'm a little interested in that race is Defiant Honor, who's the three. And she should be a square enough price, you know, in the six to one range. And I think she has a good chance to beat the favorites in there, Defiant Honor. So she's one horse I'm going to try in there. Uh, very interesting race. Uh, the seventh race, a terrific strong allowance. It's just your, your typical Saratoga opening card. And, 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 and an important thing for people to remember is that we've added this year a late pick five. Um, a Naira, called the Naira Betts Late Pick 5. And it's a bet that you can play anywhere in New York State. Um, but if you want to play it from out of state, you have to be a member of Naira Betts. And playing through Naira Betts also through the end of July, if you are the only person holding a winning ticket, you're guaranteed at least $100,000. But that's in the last five races every day. And it's been a big success so far. The payoffs have been outstanding. Um, so I hope people get involved with that. And that kicks off in the sixth race, the 10 race card on Friday. Uh, with a very, very complicated uh, turf sprint where I like the three Mo Promise. You know, I think the thing about Saratoga is the betting cards are, in general, so difficult and so wide open that if you can be smart one time a day, you can make money. And I think that's the best thing we have to offer from a betting perspective in Saratoga. You don't have to be right that often to make money. Being smart one time a day, I think that's LeVac and my goal for our show. I like that theory. Just be smart once a day, and that's good enough. If, for some people, they may not get the opportunity to come out to Saratoga Racetrack. There is a way that they can still be a part of the races by Naira Betts. Right. I mean, you can, you can watch our races on Naira.com in HD, um, as well as the new Naira Now app. I really recommend people download the Naira Now app. Uh, you can, on both that and com. you can watch the races live in HD, but you can do a lot of different things. You can watch from different cameras around the track, a camera in the paddock, uh, different angles of the races, and it's really the closest you can come to being there without being there. And unfortunately, as you say, everybody can't attend 40 days a year. Uh, so the days you're not there and you want to get a little Saratoga, get your smartphone, download Naira now, and just participate in the races for a little while. Go to Naira Betts and bet a couple dollars in the races, and you're not there, but at least you can feel like you're there for a little while. And that's one of the things that we've really come to offer with this Naira Now app, which is just terrific. Our Naira Insider, our horse racing analyst, Andy Serling, joins us here on the phone lines on LeVac and Gaz on 104.5 The Team. Any changes maybe to this year's race course, the overall Saratoga feel that maybe past people may notice when they step to the race course this weekend? Well, one of the things we've added is a playground um, for mm. kids. It's actually pretty cool. I was over there the other day and checking it out. And that's more towards the center behind the grandstand, kind of around where um, some of the food places are behind the grandstand. So that's something that we have offer. But, you know, as always, the grounds just look great. You know, you come to Saratoga, and every year I'm amazed at what a job they do putting it together. And, and as far as, you know, with the backyard, with the picnic tables, and so much to offer. I mean, it's just getting back to Saratoga is like getting home. And especially with the racing being so good, I mean, there's a matchup on Saturday's card between Lady Eli, who raced at Saratoga. She came back, a much storied horse who's never been worse than second in her career. And she's actually going to be squaring off against another horse trained by Chad Brown uh, named Antino, who might have been the most exciting horse to win on the entire Belmont Stakes um, card back in June. And that's going to be 
that might be one of the best matchups you'll see all season. So at the end of the day, a lot of great stuff going on at the track, but the horses are king, and we're going to see some tremendous races. I can't wait for all this. It's going to be a great summer, and then all summer long right here on 104.5, the team you can hear at the post with this guy, Andy Serling, all throughout the weekend, the first show coming up on Thursday. What can we have planned? What can we expect for the first at the post show coming up this week? Uh, well, Regime Mirage, who uh, a rider that's very popular, has not ridden in Saratoga the last two summers because of injuries, and he's been a popular guest in the past. So we're gonna he's going to come on and enjoy us to start it out. Um, trainer Brad Cox, who's sort of an unknown, well-known new name on the scene. He's had success in Saratoga, and he's getting more and more um, successful around the country. I mean, Brad Cox is going to be a name that you're going to hear. Um, you know, a lot of people didn't know Chad Brown was eight years ago, and now he's a big name. And Brad's a really terrific trainer. But uh, the coup de gras will be having Paula Duke on. Um, I'm not sure if people are all, everyone's aware, but we've added Paula Duke, a baseball player, Paula Duke, of course, played for the Mets for many years, as well as the Dodgers and other teams. But uh, Paul has joined our team to be on our daily live broadcast shows at Saratoga, as well as a little bit we get down to Belmont Park in this fall. And Paul's going to come on at the end of the show, too, for a little while. And we'll talk to Paul, and I know he's very popular, and I'm looking forward to working with Paul and having him on the show. And looking forward to getting the show underway. At the Post Live is back every week. Andy Serling's on with Levesque and I. He's like the LL Cool J of horse race analysts. Don't call it a comeback. Our guy, Andy Serling. Andy, appreciate your time, man. We'll talk again next week. Take care. Uh, it's a pleasure. Talk to you then.